This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this cool audio spectrum animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's basically very easy and the similar method that we use in creating the inbuilt audio spectrum but in a different way. So make sure you watch the video till the end so you don't miss out on anything. And also if you're new here, please do consider subscribing to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. With that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it full HD. That is 1920 by 1080. Let's go with 30 FPS and um, you can keep the duration of the song that you're going to use. For the tutorial sake, I'm going to keep it 10 seconds, but make sure you keep it to the duration of your song. So if your song is five minutes long, you can keep the composition duration five minutes. So hit OK. Here we have our new comp. Let's create a new composition again. This is going to be our music placeholder. So I'm going to call this music. We can bring down the width to four by four because that's the last pixels that After Effects um, supports. So I'm going to keep it very like small because we don't need to even render the screen. So here we have our music. I can hit L two times to reveal the waveform. And just uh, for the tutorial sake, again, I'm going to switch directly to the beats section so we can visualize and see the audio visualizer more properly all right so drag and drop in the music composition into our render comp let's hide this hit ctrl y to create a new solid this is going to be our background so i'm going to call this bg for background then let's create one more new solid and call this as that is audio spectrum and hit ok then go into effects and preset and search for audio spectrum let's double click to add that up and here we have number of different controls so the first thing that we need to change is the audio layer so let's switch from as to music because that is our music layer and now you can see the audio spectrum is reacting to the music all right let's pretty quickly change the color to white all right then make sure the layer is selected go right over here and select the ellipse tool and from the center, I'm going to um, click and drag and then hold all control and shift at the same time. So this is going to help us to create a perfect circle like so. And then go right here in the path section and switch to mask. So now the audio spectrum is reacting to the mask. Pretty cool. Now, if I increase the frequency bands or the height of the bands you can see it gets a bit crop on the edges right here so in order to fix this i can go right here into the mask properties and increase the mask expansion now you can see the audio spectrum reacts pretty nicely so let's bring down the end frequency to 300 and let's bring up the frequency band to around 1500 so we don't get any spaces between them and let's increase the thickness to five that's looking good let's bring down the um, maximum height to somewhere around 300 all right that looks good and let's bring down the audio duration to 70 uh, percent and everything else is looking pretty good so now if i preview this we can see you can see we get this really cool look now you can tweak this according to your personal preference so i can play around with number of different settings like the audio duration i can just move this like so and probably i'll increase this to around 90 i think that looks much better so this is a uh, perfect looking good now what i'm going to do is select layer again go into fix and preset and search for mirror effect double click to apply that and then let's move this point right over here into the center so it's going to create 
a mirrored look like so so now you can see we get this really interesting look pretty awesome this is the kind of look that i want to go for really happy with the result now let's duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate the effect increase the frequency height or the maximum height of the lines like that and then switch the display option from digital to analog lines i believe bring down the frequency bands so let's start from somewhere around 20 so that looks pretty good and you can play around with the height to keep it really intense and right off the bat you can see we get this really cool looking audio spectrum which is pretty cool actually maybe i'll increase the height a bit more to keep it a bit more intense yeah now let's select all the layers hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it let's call this animation or let's call this as that is audio spectrum then i'm going to turn on the title action safe and let's hit ctrl r to bring up the rulers and drag a guide into the center so that we know it's a proper center then i'm going to select the layer and let's select the ellipse tool and create a mask like so from the center so you get something like this i can hit ctrl t and hold alt ctrl and shift to increase the size a bit and then let's simply adjust this i'm gonna adjust this from here and just hold alt or control sorry and i'm gonna adjust this from here as well all right so now if i preview this you can see we get a really unique looking spectrum now obviously we have a background here so i'm gonna um select this layer hit ctrl x to cut that and hit ctrl v to paste it into our main uh, render comp so let's close everything and if i just hide the guide you can see we get this really interesting audio spectrum which i really like now let's select the ellipse tool again we don't need fill this time i'm good, just going to set this to none and let's add a five pixel of stroke to this and create a new eclipse just like that we can align this into the center using the align section if i can find that yep there we go looking pretty nice let's put this at the back of the audio, audio spectrum audio spectrum all right and let's bring down the size of stroke to uh, three should be fine hit ctrl d hit u two times to reveal the size and let's increase the size for this one just to add a bit more style to this and probably i will adjust uh, the size of this one as well so i'm gonna hit u and let's adjust this probably um maybe something like that or let's increase this yeah so that is uh, looking good to me so let's close everything up and a really cool audio spectrum we have here now finally as this is a robot i'm gonna add small little eyes to this so let's select the rounded rectangle tool we don't need any stroke let's add a fill of white and create a shape like so going to rectangle path one unlink this set this to around eight pixels and height i can set this to 100 that should be fine so here we have the eye also i can turn on the title action safe again just to be a bit more precise this time hit ctrl or d to duplicate it let's put this one right here all right so there we have a really interesting look let's select the audio spectrum and go into effects and preset search for ramp so here we have the gradient ramp apply this and let's drag this points like so and for this one i'm going to go with a nice yellow color and for this one let's go with a orange color so you can of course use any colors that you want i'm just going to use yellow and orange combination so i can just select these two shapes hit ctrl v to add the same um, gradient and also same gradient on the eyes but this time i'm going to fix or move this gradient points like so so hit ctrl c and hit ctrl v so right now it's looking super cool but let's make it even more cooler by adding some glows to this so in order to add glows i'm going to create a new adjustment layer called this glow 
and very important that we need to switch to 32 bpc that it bits per channel so i'm gonna hold alt and click on this small button right over here so now we are walking in 32 bits so let's go into fixed and preset and search for glow now before i proceed with the glow i just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor envato elements Design better projects faster with Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your next project. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files and more. All this comes with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will help you save a lot of time, effort, money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. Alright, so getting back to the tutorial. Now let's work with the glows. So you're right over here, I'm going to increase the glow threshold around 75%. And let's increase the glow radius. So you can see we get some really nice glows. And I'm going to bring down the intensity something like so so 0.5 or 0.6 should be a sweet spot and now you can see we get some really nice looking audio spectrum we have some nice glows going on it looks pretty nice and finally in order to avoid any kind of color bendings i can add some noise so let's go into effects and presets search for noise maybe add a three percent of noise to this all right so that is looking pretty good so basically our audio spectrum is ready now we can go ahead and add some detail to this so let's select everything again and let's move them a bit up like that all right hit ctrl shift c to precompose it i'm going to call this final animation let's move everything up a little bit and scale them down a little bit i think it's a bit too big so yeah that's that and then i can add a text that is going to be the name of the song that maybe you're using so i'm going to call this song and um, let's call this your song of course you can type in whichever song that you're using here also for the font i'm using objective font which is a free font i'm gonna just place this one right here and uh, make this white let's go with the pole and for this section i'm going to keep this regular so we have a bit of variation in the typography and then let's add a stroke for the song duration so right here i'm going to select the rounded rectangle tool and let's create a line like this okay align this and then i'm going to call this a duration you can call it whatever that you want all right and now i'm going to switch the anchor point of this line to the left side and you can use anchor point mover it's a free script or you can just simply select the pan behind tool turn on snapping and then snap the anchor point wherever that you want but using this free script is much more convenient basically it comes with animation composer i have mentioned the link in the description so here we have the rectangle now i'm gonna hit s to bring down the scale unlink this and let's set this to zero so let's see our song duration is 10 seconds only so i'm going to go to it very start create a keyframe on the scale go right here at 10 seconds and set this to 100 if you have a song that is maybe five minutes long make sure you go at the very start set this to zero go to five minutes and set that to 100 so it moves along with the song duration then i'm going to select this at control d so we have duration two hit u get rid of the keyframe set this to 100 and then bring down the opacity so hit t let's bring that down to around 20 percent so there we go there we have added the song duration as well so along with the audio spectrum we have this nice song duration and obviously you can add the same gradient so i can select the gradient hit ctrl c go right back and hit ctrl v let's place it into the position that we want so something like that and boom there we have our audio spectrum ready so let's see this in action
so i think it came out pretty cool and pretty awesome it looks unique in itself as you can see so let me know if you guys enjoyed this audio spectrum tutorial and if you want me to create more on this kind of topics so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you let me know in the comment section below and like this video and if you're watching my video for the very first time please do consider subscribing to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video also you can follow me on instagram and i've mentioned all the links in the description below again so i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out